Observing obscure observances, looking at the calendar for June the 9th. Here we have Call Your Doctor Day. There's no information about that, but I do have a little joke. Guy calls the doctor. He says, Doc, I need you to come right over. I swallowed a 50 cent piece two years ago. Doctor says, why did you call me two years ago? Guy says, two years ago, I didn't need the money. <laughs> Donald Duck Day, observed annually on June 9th. Oh, this must be the anniversary of the creation of the character. Now, that's a character voice I can't do. Donald Duck. That's, uh, that's a bit of a... Ah, so you can't do it. <laughs> can't do it. <laughs> it's like there's, there's like there's, there's a lot of effort in doing the Donald Duck voice, and I just I don't have that effort. I think I might pass out if I tried doing that voice. <laughs> I never really tried it, really. I, I don't know if it will hurt and soul into it. It's one that's, I don't know, that's, that's a tough one. And for some reason, the page isn't loading. Come on. Load. Oh, come on, you can do it. You can do this. One inch at a time. Come on now. Come on, baby. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. Come on now. Okay, here we go. I, okay, we got it. Oof, there we go. A little bit of technical difficulties here, folks. I don't know how to smoothly edit my videos just yet. So here we go. So here we go. <clears throat> Donald Duck's first appearance on screen was in the animated short film The Wise Hen on June 9th, 1934. Although Donald's birthday is said to be on March 13th in the 1949 short film Donald's Happy Birthday, Disney later decided that Donald's official birthday was June 9th, the day he first appeared in film. Thus, June 9th is Donald Duck Day. The character Donald Duck came about after Walt Disney heard Clarence Nash reciting Mary had a little lamb in his duck voice, and Nash went on to voice Donald until 1984. Tony Anselmo started voicing Donald in 1985 and is still Donald's voice as of 2017. Donald's full name is Donald Fonleroy Duck and he is known for his sometimes temperamental personality and is many times associated with his nephews Huey, Louie, and Dewey and his girlfriend Daisy. Why don't they get married already, you know? I think, uh, I don't know, would that, be, uh, would that be common law at this point? I think it probably would. I think it probably would. I don't know. National Earl Day, observed on June 9th. And let's see what it says here. There's a little information on it here. Okay. All right, here we go. Okay, National Earl Day, and it refers to the name Earl, E-A-R-L, just so we know. <clears throat> National Earl Day is dedicated to those with a particular qualification and a genuine capacity for achievement and honored named Earl. The day was started by Roger Slack in honor of Earl Daltz, a band leader. Wait, wait, wait. The day was started by Roger Slack in honor of Earl Baltz, a band leader who became a racetrack owner in 1954 when he turned Ohio's Eldoro Ballroom into the Eldora Speedway. At first, it had a quarter mile track, but within four years, it was expanded to a half mile. It became a favorite for sprint cars in the early 1960s, and Baltz soon began promoting other tracks and events as well. Because of Baltz's importance, part of Ohio State Route 118 is named Earl Baltz High. Highway, uh, highway. At the time of his death in 2015, the Eldora Speedway and the events he created were still going strong. When Roger Slack created the day, he had it coincide with the opening day of the 2016 Dirt Late Model Dream Lays at the Eldora Speedway. Interesting little fact, uh, Paul Newman, the actor, he, he, he was in uh, sprint cars and stuff like that. He, he was in racetracks and sprint cars and stuff like that. I actually knew a guy who used to be heavily into uh, sprint cars and stuff. I'm not sure if he still is. He probably still is, but who knows? Uh, but at any rate, uh, let's see. Uh, of course, Earl, all I can think of is that Dixie Chick song, Earl Had to Die, about a woman who gets married to a man who abuses her, and she gets back at him. She uh, kills him, feeds him uh, black-eyed peas with uh, cyanide in it. Cause Earl had to die. National Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Day, observed annually on June 9th. 
So for those of you, for so, so for those of you out there who enjoy na strawberry rhubarb pie, rhubarb I should say, National Strawberry Rhubarb Pie. Here's a here's a little fun little thing for you. National Strawberry Rhubarb Pie Day is dedicated to strawberry rhubarb pie. This pie mixes the sweet fruit strawberry with the tart vegetable, yes, vegetable rhubarb. Rhubarb is harvested. Har Rhubarb is harvested between mid-May and early June, which helps to explain why this day is celebrated on June 9th. Rhubarb pie, rhubarb, rhubarb pies are popular in the United Kingdom and have a variety of styles of crust. The most popular upper crust in the United States for this type of pie is the lattice style. Rhubarb pies are also popular in Canada as rhubarb can survive in their climate. Yeah, I did not know that. If you're into rhubarb pie, folks, enjoy it. All right, what else do we got? Uh, let's see. World Apps Day. Wow. Also known as World Antifisphalopod Antipod. Anti, okay. Antifisphalopod Antibody Syndrome Day. Wow, that is a mouthful, folks. But there's no information on that. Darn. World Pet Memorial Day. Observed the second Tuesday in June. Ah, World Pet Memorial Day. Hey, at least isn't Pet Cemetery Day, you know? <laughs> it's almost as if Pet Cemetery is kind of like the pet's way of saying, you think I'm going to cross the Rainbow Bridge in peace? Oh, no, you got another thing coming. Uh, World Pet Memorial Day was created by the American Veterinary Medical Association. It is a day memorial... Okay, it is a day to memorial... Okay, wait. Wait, this thing to catch up again. It is a day to memorialize your pets that have passed away. Ah, well, you know. I often think about my, uh... often think about my pets. Mainly, mainly my dog. Dog I had growing up, my best town, Freckles, who you can see pictures of him at the very beginning of a lot of my videos. Uh, he's the, uh, basset hound sprawled out on the dog bed with his eyes open. <laughs> and uh, he looks really cute and I'm going to be doing a video about him on October 16th that's when it's going to be coming out I should say October 16th because we guessed that was when his birthday was so it just stuck not like he really noticed in all fairness Writer's Rights Day observed annually on June 9th no information but what I do know is that's the end of the video I'm Lawrence Ross. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.